Tonight on Live at 3, the two men arrested in a shooting that left a little girl fighting for her life faced a judge as their family looked on. Well, thanks for joining us on this Friday. I'm Shannon Sims. And I'm Courtney Garish. The family of that 10-year-old girl shot in the head faced the two suspects in court and fought back tears as they listened to the details of that horrible night. Yona Gavino talked to family members about how little Sierra Guyton is doing today. Two men that were charged in a playground shooting that left Sierra Guyton fighting for her life were in that courtroom, and so is her family. Sierra Guyton's family sat in court to support her and face the two men accused of battling it out on a playground. Guyton was caught in the crossfire between Sylvester Lewis and Jamie Jackson. At one point, her mother wiped away tears as she listened to the heartbreaking details. She was lying there motionless. She had a gunshot wound to the back of her head area and it required immediate medical attention. A detective went into great detail about one of the alleged shooters and his disturbing nickname. We showed him a series of photo, photographs and he identified a Jamie Jackson as being the person that he referred to as Jay Murder. Sierra clings to life in the hospital. All her family can do is cling to each other. Right now, the, the family kind of like to have the uh, news in this space. They don't want to talk to the media or anything right now. Sierra's mother fought back tears as she listened to the grim future ahead of her daughter. The injury has caused such traumatic neurological damage that it will require full-time medical care for the rest of her life. Sierra's aunt told me she's blinked and moved her legs, but other than that, Sierra's still in critical condition. Her parents faithfully see her every day, hoping for a miracle. Sierra's mother told me after court, they plan on visiting her in the hospital again. In Milwaukee, Yona Govino, today's TMJ4.